brothers and sisters. Brother Wisdom. We had two powerful events happen back to back. One of them, actually, that Cali Yuga Gateway. That Cali Yuga break, Gateway literally brought us into a whole nother age. Some of the age of the Titan, the age of the dragon. All right? Where we as original beings are gaining the energy and the power of the Titan. We who are the Nagas. We're the walking Nagas. We're the walking Nagas. Extremely powerful beings of a super powerful energy. Kali Yuga opened the doors for Pluto to enter. Pluto is in conjunction with our sun in the house of Aquarius. We talked about that last night. Kali Yuga, the goddess change, God is a transformation. It's Kali Yuga is. Yes. Kali Yuga. The God is of death and destruction. Yes. And Kali Yuga opened the doors for Pluto in the house of Aquarius. And Pluto entered. Who is Pluto? Who is Pluto? You know, you got to remember that these inorganic beings call themselves uh, teaching us later on. I mean, in, in my school years, in the, in, the, in the school years, in the calendar years of the of the 70s, and the, you know, the 70s and the 80s and all that era there, they, well, we learned that Pluto was, you know, the ninth planet. All right. We learned that Pluto was the ninth planet. But then as this uh, so-called illusionary time frame went on, they started teaching us, or teaching the children, our, our young ones, that Pluto wasn't a planet, it was just a dwarf star. Because as they they knew the power of Pluto. But our awakening energy brings Pluto. All right? Let's get back into science. Remember we talked about entropy? We say when the frequencies change, it brings other frequencies. It is us, brothers and sisters, who bring Pluto here. It's our awakening energies that's literally brought Pluto here. It's our awakening energies that opened the gateway for Kali Yuga. Some brother, some sister summoned Kali Yuga in the shadow work. This is why it's important for you to do your shadow work. Some brother, some sister who doing shadow work summoned Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga opened the gateway for Pluto. Pluto brings balance for the original beings. Remember we talked about 2020? Actually, it was around 2019 when the when when the um the the World Bank, the the, the, the World Bank had collapsed. And they were trying to figure out what happened. The money just disappeared. Other brothers and sisters were talking about, oh no, no, you know, you know, in their sleep state, they they say, oh no, you know, somebody got that money. No, you gotta understand. As an energy, this is science. We're talking science. We're talking science. And this is when they start printing eighty-one billion dollars a day. They were literally printing eighty-one billion dollars a day, and the money. As soon as they were printing, the money was disappearing. They were watching the money disappear. Uh huh. Pluto has this. Is our third visit with Pluto. Yes. Kali Yuga said, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put Pluto next to Planet Kai. I'll put Pluto next to uh Galacticus. That's that's our that's our galactic sun, Galacticus. I'm gonna put Pluto next to Galacticus. Therefore, the energy of Pluto will be spread out throughout the entire galaxy and as galacticus 
spews this energy from her powerful body. What happens? That power of Pluto spreads out. Who is Pluto? Pluto is also known as Hades. Yes. Goddess of the underworld. Pluto, the goddess of the underworld. These are all feminine beings, brothers and sisters. Pluto, the goddess of the underworld. Hades was the goddess of the underworld. Pluto is Hades. Bringing death and destruction to every inorganic system that wants to hold and capture the organic beings. It wasn't so long ago that we literally beat them in wars and Pluto was right there. But now Pluto is connected to the sun. Kali Yuga, the, the, the Kali Yuga gateway, you think that gateway is closed? Hell no. Hell to the fucking, no. Kali Yuga didn't close, all right? Kali Yuga hasn't closed. Kali Yuga is wide open. That energy is here. You have to remember when you when you're dealing with a planetary structure, you're dealing with original beings. We as original beings, we, we were created directly by this realm, by this planet. We the original beings, so-called black Americans, African Americans, however you want to call us, niggas, whatever you want to call us, never want to call us by our real names. Atlanteans, Tartarians, yeah, you know, we've always been here. And our bodies are just like the planet. When this energy comes in, what happens? This energy literally remains in our vessels. We're living proofs of an extremely powerful energy extremely powerful force so that Kali Yuga gateway that opened up those of you who have been meditating and, and transforming yourself within yourself you possess the power of the uh, of, of, of that Kali Yuga gateway that's why so many brothers and sisters are they're eager we are we're eager say so we're ready to change we're ready to go to war I'm ready to take this to the next level I'm ready to take it to the next level. You gotta remember, you, in order to fight your enemies, you must fight them on a higher level. You can't get all emotional. I know, I know you brothers and sisters are, are upset about you know the things that they have done to us and what so many of our other brothers and sisters have allowed them to do. I know you all are upset about this, but you must fight your enemy on a level where you cannot be hurt and they will always be defeated. You must fight them at a level where they cannot defend themselves. You can go out there blazing guns and bullets and all this stuff. I mean, I know that rage of fury within you, it wants to do this, but you have to remember you gotta do things in a balanced manner, okay? Because without balance, you literally gonna have a hard time trying to destroy this enemy. This is why you you have been literally rendered powerful and given powerful information going back into sorcery, wizardry, witchcraft, becoming a warlock, understanding the sifts and the, the darths and the, the, the deacons and the bishops, those who are masters of energies, yes! Those who are masters of energies, not masters of illusions, because that's all these Saxons and, and, and Orientals do. They create illusions. They're, they they cannot create anything real. They can recreate some of the things our ancestors created. They can rehash some of the things that we had created. But you're talking about pulling in some extremely powerful energy from the netherworld? When you're talking about the underworld, you're talking about... The, the, yeah, oh my goodness. You're talking about an extremely powerful world. All right? That's why these beings, these inorganic beings, wanted us to be against hell. Oh, you know, you know, you know, hell is the is the worst place you ever want to be. Why? Why would hell be the worst place you ever want to be? Because they understand the power. 
of the underworld. They understand the power of the underworld. They understand what, what power the underworld possesses. You understand that? They understand the power that the underworld possesses. And it's an extremely powerful power. Pluto, the goddess of the underworld. Yes. And all her power. Also known as Hades. Are we not in the gates of Hades right now? As we're continually flowing through the gateways of Hermes. And everything is rapidly expanding. Everything is moving at a much faster pace. Time has increased. Are we not in these gateways right now? Kali Yuga, open the gateway for Pluto. One, eight. Kali Yuga, open the gateway for Pluto. And we are literally in the middle of something powerful getting ready to take place. Understand what the fuck is going on. Understand what the fuck is going on, y'all. Things are changing right now. Pluto and all her power connected directly to Galacticus literally send all that plutonium energy throughout the entire solar system. Pluto made that connection. Now they're communicating. Yes. You had these inorganic beings that were, oh, Pluto's not a planet. It's just a dwarf star. It's just this, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what's going on. This is the worst time for these inorganic beings in their systems right now because you have Pluto in 2020, all right? Remember when that stock market collapsed? Yeah, that was Pluto, all right? That energy, the brothers and sisters that are wicked. The stock market had collapsed in 2020. And then the stock market collapsed again in 2022. That was Pluto, all right? Now, as the Cali Yuga gateway opened up, while the Cali Yuga gateway was in, in place, I'm watching all the money things and these 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 Saxons with their money woes and hundreds of thousands of dollars coming up minutes from their account. And the banks is like, hey, we don't know what happened. You didn't get hacked. We didn't take your money. Your money just disappeared. Just like that. It's science. I was just talking to a brother not too long ago. He says, he says, wow, that's science. He said, that's, that is science. I said, yeah, this is science on the highest level. You understand what the fuck is going on? As Pluto comes in and Pluto literally is the goddess of destruction, but she's also the goddess of wealth, but it's only wealth for the original beings. Now we're not talking about monetary wealth. See, in the old days, when you talked about wealth, you talked about any, anyone who was wealthy in the old days, they had a lot of knowledge and they knew how to create. They knew how to build. They knew how to design. They knew how to structure. They knew how to 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 uh, 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 manifest. See, that's wealthy. When you're wealthy. These inorganic beings want you to think that you're wealthy because you got a whole lot of money, a whole lot of things, but you have no power within you. And that's what they want you to be. They want you to focus on their money. They want you to kill each other for money. They want you to kill each other for things. Not knowing, what, actually they know how we're supposed to operate, but so many of our brothers and sisters not knowing how we're supposed to operate. Brothers and sisters want to be in that area, but they don't know how to get there because religion and education has literally destroyed all of that. So Cali, you go open up that gateway for Pluto to enter. Cali Yuga opened up the portal, the, 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 literally that whole window just opened right up and Pluto just came right on in. Pluto's going to sit there for a whole freaking week. If you want to say a week, because when you, when you're dealing with the cosmos, weeks and days and years and all don't exist. Pluto is going to be there 
until she and Galacticus have finished communicating and she has filled Galacticus with all of her plutonium energy. All right? When Galacticus is, is, is completely filled with plutonium and that plutonium energy, all right? Which means that our sun is going to go supernova. When our sun goes supernova, we go supernova. So when Galacticus is filled with all this plutonium energy, then Pluto will go on her way to whatever other duties they, she got to do. You understand what's going on? You see how the planets are doing their duties? They're doing everything that they're supposed to do. You think the planets just sit around and 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 do nothing? And then these Saxons talking about, oh, the planets, they go around in a circle, they go around in a circle. No, they they travel, they're dragons. They travel. They might go on a straight line. They might go on a circular line. They might go on a spiraling line. But they travel. And they're not in a certain place. They 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 move around. And these Saxons do have the satellites up in the sky so they can see what the fuck is going on and now they're scared you understand what the fuck is going on y'all this shit is getting ready to fold over we told you 2024 was the year of death and destruction this is what we told you 2024 was a year of death and destruction and this is what's going to happen this calendar year and you watch this shit and as you build yourself and make yourself more stronger build yourself into a powerful more powerful sorcerer or sorceress build yourself into a more powerful wiccan you remember the widow jaw and the widow jay yes the widow jaw is the warlock the widow jay is the witch build yourself into become more more powerful build yourself into a more powerful uh, a, a wizard or wizard dress because you have the wizards on both sides. You have the sorcerer and the sorceress. You have the wizard there, the wizard and the wizard dress. You have the witch and the warlock. So you have them both, masculine and feminine. A sorcerer is just not a man. A sorcerer also can be a war man. A wizard is just not a man. A wizard can also be a, a war man. They always want to make the witches women. See, this is this is what the Saxons have done. They have they have put into our heads what order things supposed to be when they know the true order all these planets out here are literally working and this is what we're supposed to be doing we're supposed to be working as well the most advanced beings ever known mother pluto and goddess kali yuga is bringing everything back into place there's more things that's going to be taking place, brothers and sisters, because we're looking at Jupiter, we're looking at Venus, getting ready to do some powerful things as well. Yes. We're looking at Jupiter and Venus, and Uranus and Neptune are also going to be stepping up to the plates. We're going to discuss them a little later. Understand what the fuck is going on, y'all? All this shit. All this shit. Don't, don't, don't think that this shit is going to survive because it's not. All this money disappearing everywhere, their monies are disappearing. That's why they're back to printing money again. And as they print, the money is disappearing. Why? Because parallel worlds are coming together. A more powerful uh, 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 vessel of Kai is joining with Kai. The most uh, 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 spiritual vessel of Kai is joining with the physical vessel of Kai to bring balance shut all this shit down. I told brothers and sisters long ago, I said, I said one day we're going to be traveling and we're going to see empty buildings everywhere. And, uh, and the crazy part about it is we're going to remember what those buildings were. But then what, 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 what's, what's, what's going what, what's to happen is that it's going to come to us is that we really didn't need them at all. And we're going to dismantle every brick. We're going to dismantle every metal and we're going to rebuild our land the way it's supposed to be built and not in the, in the form of these Saxons because they would not be here. And this is what they fear the most, not being here. We don't need them anymore. We, we never needed them. 
their forefathers that left them here, when they realized that they were losing that war, when they realized that they were losing that war, that was some 400 years ago, when they realized that they were losing that war, that final, that final battle, that final wave, they took off in their ships and they left. All 37, what you call the slave ships, yeah, all 37 of them. They left, they went back up. Why you think that they, they put this whole thing of, of waiting for the savior to come back? I'm waiting for Michael and Angel Michael and Angel Gabriel to come and take me. They, they, they're, they were hoping that their leaders would come back and get them because they were left here at our mercy. Our forefathers showed them mercy and in return, they didn't show us mercy. They showed their true colors and they're still showing their true colors. Kaliuga and Pluto working together. Kaliuga put Pluto right next to Galacticus. And now we're moving into a whole nother era. The era of the dragon, the era of the Titan. Yes, brothers and sisters, the silky powerful energy that just crawls through your veins and your vessels. Yes, let's get ready for this, y'all. All right, I'll catch you guys later. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings make chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos is everything. We are chaos, brothers and sisters. We are chaos. And this shit right here is getting ready to come. It's not getting ready to come to an end. This shit is coming to an end. It is ending. I heard the sisters cry. Uh, the sisters, the, the, the goddess sister on um on Instagram. I heard her cries. She says our brothers is getting locked up and put in jail, and 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 we're not doing nothing about it because you know her husband is in jail and she wants him out. So brothers and sisters, we're telling you. You have got to put yourself on a level where you cannot be killed. They know that there is a certain energy that we can gain where we will not be injured by anything. And the, the, the celestial deities and beings who are the creators of everything, Pluto, Uranus, Neptune, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Yes. Carissa, Calandra. Yes. Lama Deer. Yes. All these, these powerful planets. You have these star systems that are playing roles too. Remember all the, we had the, the star system convergence, we had the, the planetary convergence, we had the universal convergence, we had the, galact the galactic convergence, all these different convergences. It was all being brought being brought together so we could come right here. Brothers and sisters, I am a 810 degree mason. As a timekeeper, my duty is to make sure certain things happen, certain things don't happen. I do a lot of shadow work that you guys don't know about. It's important, brothers and sisters, to understand, understand, understand what's going on. So just like our planets and these different goddesses are working, let's get to work, y'all. All right? Much power to you all.